Hey everyone, Alex Ionescu here. Welcome to Investor's Guide to the Galaxy. New photos of Neo 1X humanoid robot. Pre-orders start at the end of 2023. Top humanoid robots in development right now. Although before we start, if you find this video helpful, it would mean a lot to me if you crashed the like button and subscribed to my channel. It's totally free and takes just a split second. If you want to show more appreciation, consider subscribing to my Patreon. Now let's dive right into it. One X changed their website recently and added new photos of their new humanoid robot, Neo. And they also added some new details about it. After I show you the most advanced humanoid robots that are in development right now, we will get into details about Neo from One X. This is Atlas from Boston Dynamics. This is Artemis from Romella. This is Digit from Agility Robotics. This is Neo from One X. This is Apollo from Aptronic. This is Figure AI Human Robot. And this is Tesla Bot. Meet Neo. Safe, balanced, and smart. Neo is your intelligent Android assistant. This is a new photo of Neo. Safety first. One X tests every Neo in real world scenarios before they're deployed. Neo's soft, organically inspired mechanics. Make them safer from the inside out so they're ready for your spaces. Balanced performance. Neo moves like us so they can meet your needs. One X engineers Neo for high precision and gentle strength with arms and legs modeled after human muscle movement so they can walk through your doors, climb your stairs and do everything in a more natural and intuitive way. Smart behavior. Neo embodies artificial intelligence. One X combines thoughtfully designed bodies with advanced AI minds so you can talk to them naturally and they can do what you ask. Embodied artificial intelligence. One X is advancing the fields of robotics and artificial intelligence by combining them in an unprecedented way. General purpose androids inspired by human nature. As they move, they get smarter, becoming as strong, gentle and capable as we are. Simply by working alongside you, One X's androids will learn to adapt to universal applications. You lead, Neo learns. Neo could help you in your space. About the control, VR teleoperated synchronized mode, safety first design, learns from tasks completed in VR teleop, autonomous behavior, AI navigation. From 2 hours to 4 hours runtime, electric system, weighting 30 kilograms. Mobility, walking speed of 4 kilometers per hour, running speed of 12 kilometers per hour, and 20 kilograms carry capacity. What is Neo? Our Android model Neo is an innovative bipedal type of humanoid robot. That means they are designed to look and move like a human. Neo has a head, torso, arms, and legs, just like us so they can interact with the world in a way that feels familiar to us. They'll walk, grab things and communicate through facial expressions. What can Neo do? Neo is an android with a wide range of capabilities. They excel in industrial tasks in sectors like security, logistics, manufacturing, operating machinery and handling complex tasks. Long term, we envision Neo providing valuable home assistance and performing chores like cleaning or organizing. One X is also looking into how Neo can offer support to individuals with mobility challenges, fetching items and providing companionship. Neo's potential also extends to research, helping the robotics community to explore fields like psychology and artificial intelligence. With Neo's continuous evolution, the possibilities for assistance, productivity and learning are boundless. Why is Neo modeled after a human? Humanoid robots are made to look like humans for different reasons. Firstly, humans are flexible and can move around in all sorts of ways. By copying our shape and movements, One Access androids can do complex tasks and get around easily. Secondly, we are really good at understanding each other without words, like using expressions and gestures. When robots look like us, they can use these familiar ways to talk and work with humans. Lastly, since everything in our world is made for humans, it's easier to have robots that fit into our world 
without changing too much. So by being designed like us, humanoid robots can climb our stairs, open our doors and be helpful everywhere we need them. How does NEO use artificial intelligence? Using embodied artificial intelligence, NEO will understand its environment deeper thanks to the fusion of their AI senses and their physical body. NEO continuously learns and improves, becoming smarter and more capable over time. The more you interact with them, navigating life with NEO will feel natural and intuitive. NEO will understand their own environment and how to handle fragile items creating seamless collaborations and immersive human-robot interaction. The most important part in my opinion is this announcement right here. NEO will be open for pre-orders end of 2023. What? This is huge. They definitely want to cut Tesla off by starting sales of the humanoid robot before Tesla does. Tesla didn't even mention anything about when they plan to sell the Tesla bot. I think this announcement will force Tesla to come up with pre-orders faster than they would have otherwise done it. They need to announce a date for the pre-orders. Even though I think this will not happen anytime soon, but you never know, they are moving fast with the development of the bot, the Tesla bot. A strong point for not selling them early is because Tesla will use their robots in the factory first. They don't need to start selling them to have lots and lots of robots that gather data. One X doesn't have factories like Tesla to test the robots as Tesla does, so it needs to sell them to gather data. But if One X starts to sell them to the public, Tesla will be forced to start selling them to the public sometime after One X starts. I told you before, Tesla is not alone in the humanoid robot market as it was when they made the first electric vehicle. In this category, they will have competition from the beginning. I am excited about them competing. Every humanoid robot has pros and cons, and every company the same. For example, Tesla bot is very good at walking. More than that, uses Tesla FSD software to move around. Tesla is the best at autonomous driving because they are working on FSD for a long time. A lot of years now. So again, they have an advantage here. Tesla bot doesn't excel in every aspect. For example, you cannot talk to Tesla bot yet. By the description it has on their website, you can talk to Neo robot from One X as you can talk to a human. Here, One X has a big advantage over Tesla because OpenAI is a shareholder in their company and are working with them. So One X has access to OpenAI ChatGPT language model. Tesla doesn't have a language model yet. They are focused on the robotics side for now and they show impressive progress every couple of months. Another robot that was recently tested with large language models is Digit. Take a look at this video. In this demo, Digit is given scene information about the objects in its environment. It knows that there are several items on the floor with semantic information. Hey Digit, clean up this mess. When I walk on screen, I issue a voice command to Digit, which it recognizes based on hearing its name. At this point, Digit makes a prompt to an LLM that solves for what it can do to satisfy this voice command given its physical intelligence around how it can interact with the world. The prompt is specially constructed so that Digit can interpret the response of the LLM as a set of actions it can take in the world. The command is interpreted to mean that Digit should pick up the trash on the floor and put it in the bins. This interpretation is not directly encoded in any part of the prompter software. Digit's LLM generates this from its own semantic interpretations of a mess, trash, bins, and clean. Once this response is decoded, Digit begins performing the actions it has determined will satisfy the command. In other situations, Digit's LLM can decide to do other actions, like move around, or gestures such as waving. The entire demo shown here, from concept to execution, was completed within two weeks using an unmodified Digit platform. To recap what we just saw, after hearing a voice command, Digit successfully moved all the trash on the floor into the appropriate bins for each item. Digit started out knowing that there are different types of items and different bins used for recycling or garbage, but at no point is Digit instructed on how to clean or what a mess is. Digit uses an LLM to interpret how best to achieve this goal with its physical capabilities. When I look at Neo, I can say that they are working similarly as Tesla, I mean fast-paced iterations. Why I say that? Because they don't care what the parts look like inside the robots because they mask it with these gray, black and white clothes. It's smart. With these clothes, 
the robot looks good for the public and they don't need to waste time improving the looks of the robot inside. It just needs to work, do its job, not be good looking inside. One thing comes to mind. It's better to have clothes, but think of it like this. When they change the robotics, when they change some parts inside of the robot, they just put the clothes on again, and that's it. If they made the robot with plastic on the outside, every time they change anything inside, a new iteration of the robot comes up, they have to design again the outer plastic cage. Waste of time. With clothes it's simpler and faster. I personally like the look of the robot. I like the clothes, I like the hands, and definitely like the head with the simple white lines animation. They definitely got some Lost in Space movie vibe going on here. I'd like to know your opinion on all of this. Please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please smash the like button so that other people like you see this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you that watch my videos. See you next time.